Good morning, foxes! In today's mini game guide, we're going to talk about a simple, easy, and efficient way to do the Nightmare Zone, a very useful place to train combat and earn points to imbue certain items. Become a fox, join the community by subscribing, liking, and sharing. Thanks so much! This mini game is a safe mini game, so as long as you don't drop items on the ground, when you die, you don't lose your items. It's located north of the Anil Bank, and you can use the mini game teleport to get here. This mini game can seem complicated, but it's quite simple. With a little bit of prep, you can partially AFK here for hours while gaining around 220,000 plus points per hour with my method. This minigame is based off of the amount of quests you've completed. Only certain quests have bosses that are used here, but obviously the more quests you have done in general, the more bosses you'll get to choose from. It should be noted that from around 60 combat to 99, Nightmare Zone is considered one of the optimal training areas alongside Slayer. You need at least 5 of these quests completed to start this minigame, otherwise there are no other requirements. Now, to set up the dream, you'll talk to Dominic who will help you. He will also require you to deposit money in the coffer. The cost varies based on the type and difficulty of your selected dream, but usually for what I do, it's about 26,000 coins. Let's go over the three different dreams you can set up with all of them having a normal and hard setting. The normal setting just means the bosses will have the same stats as in the quest, whereas it hard means they could gain increased hit points, attack, strength, magic, and range levels, as well as lose or gain a mechanic, so it's best to look over this chart and decide which ones you'll want to fight. I usually only choose melee bosses to keep it simple. Practice Mode This allows you to 1v1 a boss. No points or experience is gained, but you will receive the same drops. Endurance Mode This is a 1v1 with every unlocked boss. You will receive points for this. Rumble Mode This mode allows you and or a group of up to 5 players to take on multiple bosses at a time, including duplicates of the same boss. If you're playing solo, you'll only have 4 bosses out at a time. Of course, if you're playing in a group, you'll only be able to take on bosses you all have unlocked. As for gear, it's highly recommended to wear full Daroks after level 92 for max efficiency, as you'll want to use the damage bonus the armor gives for having low health to smash through bosses quicker and gain more points. The Obsidian Armor or Void Knight equipment are good alternatives. You'll need to complete the quest Freeing the Mountain Dwarf subquest of Recipe for Disaster for the Rock Cake. Consider bringing a granite maul for its spec or a similar off weapon for the power surge power up we will go over later in the guide. Now that we know what we need to have and where, let's talk about if this is your first time here or not. If this is your first time, you won't have any points yet, so fill your inventory with food and a couple prayer potions. Create a dream, normal rumble, and I suggest only melee bosses, then drink the potion and enter the dream. Once inside, if wearing Darix, let your health get lower before throwing on protect from melee, then kill them until you run out of supplies. Now that you have some points, you'll run it a bit differently. Be conservative at first, as you'll only have so many points. You'll want to go over to the chest and spend some points on absorption and overload potions. Depending on your points, buy a few absorptions and about half the same amount of overloads. Over time, you'll find a good ratio that works best for you. The next dreams from here on out, you'll want a hard rumble. But before entering, go over to the overload barrel. You'll want to grab a few doses of this. The exact amount will vary, but remember a vial holds 4 doses, so bring a couple vials to start. Don't worry though, you can return any unused potions back to the barrel afterwards. This increases all your combat stats except hit points and prayer. After that, you'll want to grab about double as many doses of absorption potion as you did overload potions. You'll want this because it will act like a prayer potion for you. Ultimately, if you're planning on staying here for long periods of times, I suggest starting with 4 overload potions and about 20 absorption potions and adjusting as you see fit. There is a strategy for optimal points, which I will touch on briefly, but I do not prefer this method as it requires you to pay a lot more attention. You are to leave as many bosses as you can active on the list, except for Corrupt Lizardman, Elvar, Glog, Chronazon, and Barrel Chest. Killing the bosses in a certain order maximizes the points gained per time it took to kill. So 4 Overlords, 20 Absorption, Gmall, Locator Orb, or Rock Cake with Ice Gloves and 1 Prayer Potion should be in your inventory. You should be running a hard rumble, and once inside the dream, overlord, absorption to a thousand, get to one HP, and then kill the monsters in order of priority for optimal points. But like I said, that's not really my style. I prefer a more AFK and efficient method, so that I can watch Netflix while I do this. <laughs> now, we've covered requirements necessary, gear, inventory, and the types of games you can play, so let's actually throw ourselves into a dream. Make sure to put some money in the coffer, 50,000 should be more than enough for a couple games. I always choose hard rumble and only melee bosses. I do this so I don't have to chase down or worry about doing mechanics in here. So drink the potion and enter the dream. 
Once inside, you'll hit your overload potion, which will zap some of your health, click a dose of your absorption potion, then finish off your health by clicking on the rock cake. The rock cake will only get you down to two health, so you'll have to right click and guzzle to get to one health. Click some more of your absorption potion on too. I like to keep my absorption potion anywhere from 200 to 300, so keep in mind any absorption bonus currently on you will be lost if you leave. Then start killing the bosses. Make sure to click on and off your rapid heal whenever your health gets close to ticking itself to 2. The longer you stay at 1 HP, the more damage your Darx does. Also make sure you have auto retaliate on so you can AFK while you're doing this. Keep your overload up and absorption up at all times while inside the dream. Every once in a while there will be a power up to spawn that does various things. You will want to keep an eye open for the power surge one. It's a yellow ball that allows your special to refill hella quick, so bringing a gmol, grabbing the power surge, and smacking your spec consistently until the power up phase helps you kill bosses quicker, racking up more points. The game will also put a message in your chat box saying which one is up so that you can look around for it. There are a total of four power ups. One is the power surge that I just mentioned. The other three are recurrent damage, which adds an additional hit. Dapper, which damages nearby monsters over time, and Ultimate Force, which instantly kills all the bosses in the area. Recommended to avoid using Ultimate Force unless there's a bunch of hard to kill bosses up, otherwise use the other two power ups as you see fit. I usually just ignore everything except for the power surge. Once your supplies are gone, you can leave via the potion on either the front or back of the room or you can just let the bosses kill you. When you get out of the dream, you can use the points you earn to go for another round restocking your absorption and overload potion, or save up your points to imbue your slayer helm and other various items. So let's simplify this. 1. Put GP in the coffer. 2. Stock your overload and absorption barrels if needed. 3. Create your dream, customizable rumble hard with Dominic. 4. Fill your inventory with overload and absorption potions. 5. Pick the bosses you do and don't want to fight. 6. Drink the potion. 7. Drink a dose of your overload potion. 8. Drink enough absorption to put you over 200. 9. Eat or guzzle your rock kick to 1 HP. 10. Make sure auto retaliate is on. 11. Kill bosses. 12. Turn on and off rapid heal when getting close to 2 health. 13. Watch for power ups, power surge mainly. 14. Rinse and repeat. That's all I have for you guys this time. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.